During her days of entrapment in the quantum realm, Janet Van Dyne encounters Kong. In the present day after the skirmish of Earth, Scott Lang has become a successful memoirist and has been living joyfully with his girlfriend Hope Van Dyne. Lang's now young daughter Cassie has become an activist whose activities result in Lang rescuing her of prison. While visiting Hope's parents, Hank Pym and Janet, Cassie reveals that she has been working on a device that can make contact with the quantum realm. Upon learning of this, Janet panics and tries to shut off the device, yet the message is received, resulting in a portal that opens and pulls the five of them into the quantum realm. Scott and Cassie are found by natives who are opposing their ruler, while Hope, Janet, and Pym explore a sprawling city to find solutions. Hope, Janet and Hank meet with Lord Kryler, a former partner of Janet's, who reveals that things have changed since she left, and that he is now working for Kong, who is now the realm's ruler. After an intense showdown, the three are forced to escape and steal his ship. The Langs are told by the Radicals leader Gentora that Janet's involvement with Kong is indirectly responsible for his uprising, they soon come under attack by Kang's forces, consisting of robotic subordinates led by Imodioke, who is revealed to be Darren Cross, having survived his clear death at Lang's hands. The Langs are taken to Kong, who demands that Scott assist with getting his power core back or else he will kill Cassie. Lang is taken to the core's location and shrinks down. He is almost drowned in a sea of variants of himself, yet Hope arrives and helps him gain the power core. However, Kong reneges on the deal, catching Janet and destroying her ship with Hank on it. In the wake of being rescued by his ants, who were also pulled into the quantum realm, rapidly evolved, and became hypersmart, Pym helps Lang and Hope as they make their direction to Kong. Still imprisoned, Cassie rescues Gentora and they commence an uprising against Khan and his army. During the battle, Cassie appeals to Cross Personality, which convinces him to turn sides and battle Khan, though at the cost of his life. Janet fixes the power core as she, Pym, Hope, and Cassie jump through a portal home, yet Khan attacks Scott. Before he can beat Scott into submission, Hope returns, and she and Scott throw Khan and Pym particles into the power core, destroying them both. Cassie reopens the portal for Scott and Hope to get back. As Scott joyfully resumes his life, he begins to rethink everything that he was said to about Kang's death being the start of something horrendous occurring, yet brushes it off. In a mid credit scene, numerous variants of Kong led by Immortus commiserate Kang's death and plan their multiversal uprising. In a post credit scene, Loki and Mobius M. Mobius encounter another Kong variation, Victor Timely, on Earth in 1901.